So, it's the second season of the Coming Home series, quite exciting. Um, here I am sitting and knitting on an armchair. Um, I wish we had more of that really in our lives. It is much more in our life than, f than it was for many, many years, ever since computer came into my life. So um, in this season, we would like to talk uh, about the tools that we're using and the stuff around us. How is it made? Uh, and when do we know how it was made? And when do we have really the skills to make it ourselves? And what difference does it make in our life? Um, as a child, I grew up in a world where skill was just, skills were important. I saw it all around me. My mother and my grandmother used to uh, sit together in my grandparents' uh, living room, I think every evening. And they would knit and sew and embroider, and knitting projects were important. And they brought a lot of pride. Uh, when my mom did this shawl, it took maybe weeks or months. Um, I really remember it over time. We were living in time, in the dimension of time, as things were made around us and become part of our lives, right? So when, it is, when I saw my mother going to a concert wearing this, I had a memory of her making it. And that, that's, that's, a, that's precious. And then later in our lives, when she bought this piece of clothing, it was a cheap thing she just bought in the market in the town where we were living. And um, there's no story here. Now I have a story because it, was, it belonged to my mom, but still, I know it's like, it was made by a machine somewhere, probably in China. And my heart doesn't, uh, doesn't go out when I see it as it goes when I see this one. With, like now it's a part of my life, it's, it's part of my room. Um, so I want to reconnect and I, I suggest that it's a better world when we reconnect to the dimension of time through uh, material. So part of that is uh, working with the seasons and feeling the real temperature and hearing the sounds of the birds change from spring to summer um, and through the whole year. And we move from one theme to the other through um, working with the seasons, with the cycle of the year. So we have kind of a map that we're going to show uh, later in this, in this website, a map of uh, the whole year with the elements and the themes um, integrated into this, uh, this uh, circle, the, the cycle of the year. And uh, every time we will, uh, um, we will mention uh, where we are at on this map. And the idea here is to reconnect what was disconnected. Um, to me, when my house is full with uh, things that I actually made um, and things that other people made, this is uh, a living system that has stories embroidered into it, right? So I, even when the house is empty, it's full of people and those people, like the, the story is there because I have memories when I look at things. Um, yeah, when and why stories were taken out, like taken out of our lives. Like at some point when I wanted to uh, make a living, like think about this word, make a living, um, the message was, oh, you can't do sewing, you can't do knitting, you can't make money with it, right? So I went into art school and I learned design and then I learned how to use the computer and then uh, I more and more was disconnected. And when I came back through City Tree, I came back to the circle of the year and to skills and crafts. Um, I came back to the needle one day and I looked at it and I was amazed thinking about how simple and accessible it is and how stable it is. Like a needle is always a needle. If you have the skill, if you know how to use it, you can make things with it and you can fix things with it, so many things. And it never breaks down on you. You'd never have to 
upgrade the upgrade the application like to download an application to the needle there's not like there is some skill you need to learn but once you have the skill the only thing that is left is to become a master of sewing you don't have to become a master you have all your life to work with the needle and really like do so many things and learn like about the um, the craft itself and so you know something in my in my mind goes a needle it's just simple it's simple simple work it's for simple people oh your mother and your grandmother used to do it it's like not important right but after i think 20 years on the computer looking at the needle suddenly i appreciated so much the fact that i can go back to the same tool that my grandmother used and there was no upgrade it is still as usable and as it was uh what what is it like 40 years ago when i saw my grandmother really working with it and the memory of the skill comes back and you can use it always and the only what the only thing that interferes with it is the mind telling this story about what's important and what's not important that's the only thing and money because you can't make money not so easily uh with uh hand made work uh then uh, in computers and you know virtual videos and designs and like all this technology of course i'm on a video now and sorry and i'm using a microphone and you hear me through a computer of course it's part of our lives but does it really have to be everything and i think with corona we we had this amazing opportunity to be at home and remember reminded be reminded it's not everything um but uh yeah the world that i'm envisioning is uh, a world that really combines well the needle and the computer we see the result of what happens when we disconnect from the real things uh that are out there the result is all around us um and the way to fix it part huge part of fixing it and also building our resilience because crisis is here uh is coming back to our skills our basic skills that do not depend on high technology that for high technology we're dependent on big industry on china on global systems that uh we cannot we do not trust anymore i do not trust anymore um yeah so we're here to explore that in another uh chapter of our journey and i i'm really glad that uh, you're joining us so thank you very much and let's see what happens in this season